Well, good evening, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? All right, Emma Lagasse here. Welcome to Emma Live. Hey, you guys know I just love, 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 love to entertain. Yeah. And sometimes the occasion just kind of. Yeah, I want to be truthful. I don't have a clue where we're going with this show tonight. <laughs> All right? Let's not pretend. I don't have a clue where we're going. I know we're cooking fish. Yeah, I know we're going. Yeah. I know I want to have a party for you. So, I'm trying to feel the love of this steam right here, right now. I, I'm feeling it kind of margarita vealish. You know what I mean? I don't know. Why did I say that? Because we're going to start with a margarita, that's why. The way I look at it, if you got margarita and you got Doc Gibbs in the MLAB band, we can have our own party, right? Right here on Emerald Live! I don't know where we're going, Doc. Well, but I figure we're going to figure it out here soon. I'm thinking, start with a little margarita. Oh, yeah. Get that loving feeling going. Right? Got a little music. We got some fish somewhere. We'll find it. So I guess we're going to go to some sort of salsa eventually. And uh, one thing I know because we had to shop for it this morning. <laughs> Going to show you how to make a great sauce. We get a lot of that www.foodnetworktv.com things for a lot of requests for sauces. I think you had one yesterday. Tomatillo. I'm going to show you a little tomatillo sauce for this fish, wherever this fish may be, <laughs> that we're going to cook. All right, let's get off. Let's get started here. Passion fruit margarita. Oh, yeah, I may even dedicate this to my pal, Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to do a pitcher margarita instead of like the blender margarita. So we're going to get quite a bit of ice inside of the pitcher. <laughs> See, I'm draining the water. <laughs> Why dilute it? Good amount of ice. That looks pretty good. Now, we're going to add a little passion fruit juice in here. We may come back to a little more of that. The juice of a couple of limes. This is obviously fresh lime juice. I mean, rules. It, you can't beat it. Oh, yes. Forget the passion fruit. Put the tequila in there. Forget it. It'll be done, you know? We're going to add a little bit of... I'm using this uh, golden tequila. You like margaritas? Oh, yeah. Love them. So we're going to put a little bit of tequila in here. A little Grand Marnier. This is where France meets Mexico, you know? So a little bit of that in there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
Just another little splash like this of passion fruit. Now, here's what we got to do. There's a reason why they have two sides of a spoon. This side here you can cook with. This side here you can stir with, you see? <laughs> now, you got to get 40 stirs. Do you mind? <laughs> What's your name? Marie. Marie, just give me, count them out if you want, you know, to yourself or whatever. But while you're doing that, look, Marie, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lime like this, you see? And I'm going to rub that lime on the edges. You like salt? Fine. Okay. You like salt? Yeah. How about you guys? Salt? Absolutely. All right, we got four salts. So, little lime. Yeah, yeah. Cooking over here. That's 40? Give me 50. You're doing a good job, too. I'm going to tell you that. It's going to well be worth it. Promise you. You at 50 yet? At least. All right, at least? Oh, if, don't, I hope you didn't screw this up, Marie. Never. Hey, we're on, look, 85 million people out there. Come on, babe. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to just sort of... We stirred them. A couple of raspberries. Have you ever had a couple of raspberries like that? Oh, those are beautiful. Marie, since you're already on the spot with 85 million people, <laughs> give it a little taste. See if, uh, we, if you'd change anything for us, Marie. Not a thing. Good? Mm -hmm. Marie says it's okay. <laughs> Hey, we're going to have a couple of margaritas while we rock out with Doc Gibbs. Stick around. dinner party tonight for you those little margaritas they're the real deal huh i gotta say marie she kicked it out of the ballpark <laughs> at least 50 50 i i used to think it was oh yeah forget the 40 stirs go to 50 55 think of the speed limit <laughs> something like that anyhow all right you know what i'm talking about now we're gonna make a little salsa a little tropical salsa. Yep. So I've got some orange segments. And um, Supremes is another name. <laughs> Here's what we can do to get them. Nice Florida orange. So you want to make sure that this stuff here, it makes it really bitter, you know? The zest is good. I have some of that here for flavoring for the oil. But the white, which is called the pith, you got to really trim that out or it'll be really bitter. So what you want to do is you kind of go in that half moon shape like I got right here. And you see there's like little, they almost look like veins, orange veins. Sounds good to me. Well, they call them Supremes orange veins <laughs> so what we're going to do is you just kind of go in the middle of those lines you see that and then you can get these beautiful supremes out what does that mean well it doesn't really have like that i don't know what you call it that you know when you eat an orange you you know i guess you had to been there i don't know but, <laughs> but anyhow see you want to get those supremes from the orange see here's one right here but look, we're going to move that aside. You see that? It's like playing cards. And then we've got like the Supreme. You see now, this is the part that we're trying to eliminate right there. Perfect. You with me so far? Yeah. I'm just checking. <laughs> All right, so now we've got that. 
Before we get more into this salsa deal, this is a tomatillo. And they have this outer skin on them. And then if you peel them back, you see? They look like a green tomato. That's a tomatillo. So this outer skin really doesn't do anything but protect them. Unlike a tomato that's exposed, the tomatillos have this skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate that. And then what I've got here is we're going to half them or slice them or whatever you want. Half of them, half of them is good. Now, they're a little sticky purposely. Not like a tomato. These have got a little stickiness to it. That's good. That's happy juice. Okay? You don't know it's happy juice yet, but you'll see. We're going to get a little oil. And what we're going to do first... We're going to take a little onion and a half, a whole, however you want, how hot you want, a little jalapeno pepper, right? No seeds. Going to add that in there. A little salt and some freshly ground pepper. Now, we're going to add the tomatillo in here, jack the heat up, and we're going to try to start getting a little bit of color on these and getting the flavor extracted from the tomatillo. You with me so far? Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll be back. Now, back to the salsa. To the orange, I want to add some mango. You don't know what mango is? This is a mango right here. When you're shopping for a lot of fruits, when I go to the grocery store, people think that I'm like the weirdest guy in there. You know, because I'm like in the produce area, and I'm like... I ask people if I can smell their fish. I'm in there smelling their produce, touching their eggs. Hey, who's paying for it? So when you're looking for this mango, you want to look for softness. If you're going to use it like today, tomorrow, pretty soon. It's like avocado, right? You know, you kind of feel it. Nobody's ever arrested you for feeling an avocado, have they? <laughs> Do you know about an avocado police that I don't know about? Well, there's no mango police either. So you kind of want to make sure that it's ripe. And that's what we did. Inside of a mango, it's kind of like a whale. Okay? There's like a little, there's a flat bone in there, Ted. There's a flat bone in the center of that, and the meat is from this side and from this side. In the center is this flat bone. Mm. Don't ask me why. I'm not the creator of it. That's mango. All right. See, we're getting a little bit of color now with sort of blistering. Love that word. We're blistering that. When they start getting blistered, we're going to add like about a cup of chicken broth on them and let them start getting a little bit of vapor going in here. Okay? Smell that already? Oh, yeah. We love vapor, too. Oh, I won't go there right yet. But I had a vapor story for you, but I'll save it for later. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to add red bell pepper. Beautiful, delicious, sweet onion. I'm going to add not only... This is a little bit of grated ginger. Fresh ginger. Oh, yeah. Not Mary Ann, but ginger. <laughs> Orange zest. More jalapeno. And then what you want to do, folks, is this. You want to take some cilantro. I love cilantro. See, you got the leaves. You want to pick through the leaves... But what you want to do with the leaves is you just kind of want to chop it up a little bit. You just kind of, because you don't want to just have all fine, but you don't want to have like just all big leaves either. See, we're going to put that in here. All right. Little salt. And some pepper. Just a tiny bit 
of olive oil. Just a little drizzle like that. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful, huh? All right, so now. Put a little bit of that between your cheek and gums, right? All right, here's what I'm gonna do about four or five minutes more. I got the vapor happening. That means concentration's happening. I'm gonna let this cool before I put it in the blender to make a tomatillo sauce. When we come back, another notch! <laughs> Keyboards, ladies and gentlemen. Our good buddy Charles on bass. Mr. Teddy on drums. Thank you very much. Thank and you if so you much. can't feel the love at home, Doc Gibbs is in the house. All right. We got our little orange and mango salsa. And, uh, I turned the heat off, just what I said I was going to do. Now the sauce is going to start cooling down a little bit. What kind of sauce? That tomatillo sauce, right? I want to show you something. We get a lot of that www.foodnetwork.com. And uh, we get a lot of, a lot of all kinds of recipe requests, but also technique requests, and also some hints. And one of the hints is how to keep things warm, especially butter sauces without breaking them. Right? Probably one of you right in here that wrote it. <laughs> this is called a double boiler. Or it could be also called as a bon marie. You can see that I have this pot fits into this pot. You see how it's sloped? This fits into here. So it's also good for melting like chocolate, tempering eggs, etc., etc., beside holding things. Put a little water, you put your burner on low, okay? Put some water in there, put that in there, it has a lid. But what it does, it doesn't direct heat, it doesn't put it on a direct heat, and you can really keep your sauces warm like we're going to do our tomatillo sauce. I was down in the basement, <laughs> and I found some yucca. That's what this is. It's a root. Could you imagine getting on the subway with this thing? <laughs> what they would think? Well, anyhow, I'm not going there, but yucca. We're going to make some yucca chips in a little bit. Oh, yeah, because you don't know where I'm going. I'm going to make you a little crab meat guacamole in just a minute here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So now what we're gonna do is, this is pretty cool now, what we're gonna do, I gotta put this tomatillo in the blender first. And then there's a lot of nice yum-yums in here. Look at all the yum-yums. Look, we gotta do a little yum-yum swirl. Oh, get all those good yum-yums in there. All right, hopefully we're going to have enough liquid. If not, we could always add a little more chicken broth or a little water to this. All right, the yum-yums are in there now. I think we need just a tiny bit of honey in here, like a half a teaspoon. Just come with me. Come for the ride. And then we want to put a little bit of... Ah, we'll put all the cilantro in here. Why not, right? All right, now, when you're blending hot sauces, you got to just kind of on and off real quick, okay? On and off real quick. Why? 
It's got heat. It's going to expand. It'll decorate your ceiling if you're not careful. Okay? So a little on and off for action here. You see it expanded like that. Okay? Look. Let a little air pocket. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. We got a big budget here. We got dry cleaning. Everything you need. Don't worry. Look at me. You've got two spots. I need a uniform change. Jeez. We'll be okay. All right. I know you will. I know you're good. You go, yeah, look, you're along for the ride. See, you, take, you just took one for the team. I did. I do. I do. I'm a guy like that. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's got this limey, oh. You like the taste? Oh, absolutely. Let me season it a little bit first, though. Just a little salt. I took one for the team. So you I took one I, for the team. Here, try that. Oh, thank you. We need more people like you. Yeah, I know. I know. God, I'm soaked. Ooh. Just kidding. Ooh. Isn't that good? Very good. Tangy. Very okay, good. so now what we're going to do is we're going to keep this sauce inside of the double boiler here to keep warm until our fish is ready. All right. We're going to move on before we hurt some other people, okay? I'm okay. Now, this yuca, what you want to do... Hey, 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 hey. See, look. You already got me once. Just help. Help these days, huh? You want to peel it with a peeler? You can also do it with a sharp knife, but it's very, very... It's like a, like a strong tube. You know, it's stringy. Why I'm doing this... Now, you could just do regular tortilla chips, too. I figured I wanted to show you some yucca. Now, you take yucca like this. Let's cut a little even Stephen here. Now, it's got a lot of starch in it. You get a little mandolin. You wonder why Jack LaLanne looks so good after all these years, huh? Now, look. See, they make chips. See? Vegetable oil. About 360 degrees. We're going to fry our yucca chips in here. Why? I thought they would just be amazing. Yeah, yeah. I thought they would just be amazing with our guacamole here in a second. Or they would make a great garnish. Now, we're going to come back. See how I'm just sort of breaking them up, separating up the yucca chips here. Can you smell that yucca over there, Doc? Fantastic. I hope you can because it's all going to you right now. All of <laughs> if not, we got a few problems to talk about, yeah. like smell. <laughs> all right, Doc. So look, we're going to get them nice and golden brown, okay? Nice and golden brown. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. Now, let me get started on something else here. I want to get my cast iron skillet here, kind of start getting this thing hot. Look at this thing, huh? That's well seasoned. You know, we had a couple of requests on the foodnetwork.com thing too about how do you get them seasoned. You buy a brand new cast iron pan, you bring it home, don't wash it. Well, wash it once. Dry it out. And then Rub a little oil in it, vegetable oil, and then just dump like a whole box of salt in there. Put the oven on about 200 degrees. Put it in the oven for a couple hours. Just forget about it. Empty the salt. Wipe it out really, really good a few times. Oil it. Your pan seasoned. Okay? Guacamole. You got to have ripe. It's that feeling thing again, you know? It's the touchy feeling kind of cooking. Now, let me show you this real quick. We're going to take these beautiful avocados cut in half. You take the seed out. Again, cut in half. I got sour cream, lime juice, jalapeno, cumin, and I got a little bit of red onion that I'm going to put in this guacamole beside this wonderful crab meat. But no big deal. Take a spoon. Spoon it right out. Take a spoon. 
Spoon it right out. I'm going to finish up this guacamole. Don't even think about touching that dial. When we come back, I'm going to show you some beautiful, beautiful red snapper. Stick around. Back in. MOI band getting a little funky on us. Yeah, a little head banging for all of you out there. Hey, if you just joined us, Emeril Lagasse here. We don't have a clue what we're cooking here tonight for dinner. We know it's going to be kicked up, but that's all we got right now. Let me review a couple of things of what we're working on. I've got this delicious uh, orange and mango salsa. I want to taste that. You want to taste your salsa to make sure it's tart enough. If we need to add more lime juice, does it need a little bit more oil? Is it too salty, etc.? We're going to do that in a second. Our yuca chips have just uh, got crispy enough. Hear that? Hey, that would make a nice instrument. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Doc. Now, the only thing with these yuca chips here, folks, oops. Like anything that I tell you that you're going to fry, right, make sure you season them as soon as they come out of the fryer, okay? A little salt. Now, I've got yuca chips. Let's taste the salsa and see if we've got to add a little more stuff to this here. Absolutely. We want to add at least the juice of one more lime. Because it's gotten a little sweet with the mango and the orange. Not taut enough. It's got to be a balance. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Talking about taking one for the team, huh? <laughs> and about two drops of lime juice in there. I hate when that happens. That, you know what I do? I go right back to the store. With them in my hand like that. Yeah. Think I'll be in here smelling your limes anymore, buddy? <laughs> Fix them limes. Oh, this is ridiculous. Jeez. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody got any ideas? Punt. No, we're going to be all right. Now, this is what they call reaming a lime. <laughs> Now, <laughs> Teddy, take it easy, bud. Reams. They do have reamers, you know. These yeah, things they... that you put in the fruit. <laughs> Citrus. Mm. All right, now, I'm adding some oil in here. How's that? <laughs> Seems a little safer at this time. Yeah, All right, so now we got yuca chips. All right, we're going to go there. We got that. Hey, I like tortillas, do you? Yeah. You know, you can take flour or corn tortillas. You can kind of cut these in half, fry them in vegetable oil, 360 degrees. You've got your own homemade tortilla chips that are absolutely fantastic. Nothing like it, dipping in that salsa. I'm going to come back to that. Now, here's the avocado. It's going to turn on us if we don't add some acidity in here. That's why we're going to add the juice of a lime. I'm going to add a little jalapeno. I love cumin in that. And I love chopped red onion. And then what we're going to do, which is going to also keep it from turning, you add a little bit of sour cream. The cultures in the sour cream will help it from turning. Okay? Now, you can either add a little cilantro or not. Do you think we should? Yeah. My kind of crowd. 
All right, look, we're going to just take a little rough chop of cilantro. Everybody thinks that you got to cut it all fine and stuff. Eh. All right, now we got all those ingredients in there. Oh, look at that. We're talking guacamole here. We're talking a little salt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fresh ground pepper. Here's a little secret. Take a little olive oil. Just a drip. Now, I think to kick this up even more notches, we'll just add the lump crab meat in here now. So I got guacamole, crab guacamole, salsa, yuca chips. Now what I want to do is start working on the main deal, which is the fish. Okay, my cast iron skillet now is hot. Look at this, some big fillets, right? It don't smell like fish, that's a good sign. When it smells like fish, it ain't a dish. <laughs> I'm gonna dredge it in flour, get it in the pan when we come back. Guess what? Another notch! During a commercial break, while you were trying to go get some frozen thing or whatever, I decided to julienne a little bit of those corn tortillas and also wedge some. So I got a chip and I got a thread thing going on. I'm building to something if you haven't figured it out. <laughs> it would be called sanity. <laughs> Look at this, nice golden brown. See, now I got the thread thing, I got the chip thing going on. Got to make sure that you... Kind of mix them around a little bit. There's those homemade tortillas I was telling you about. Oh, yeah, babe. With a little crab meat guacamole. <laughs> Put a little pinch of that between your cheek and gums, huh? <laughs> now, what we're going to do, drain them real good. And you know the drill. Oh, yeah, babe. <laughs> See, I got the thread and the chip thing going on. I'm building something here. Oh, yeah, babe. What I'm going to do is not only a little salt. Mm -hmm. See, they're vulnerable right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you take them out of the hot oil. Vulnerable. <laughs> so. Now I'm going to have a little essence on here, too, babe. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. So, look. We got the tortillas two ways. We got fried yuca. We got crab meat avocado. We got this delicious citrus and mango salsa. And I bet you the fish is about ready to be turned over. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, babe. Look. Use the fish spatula. Okay? Don't be frayed with it. And then what you do is you just put it under there. Look. Tip it up. Look. See? Look. Don't put your fingers in the hot oil. Okay, beautiful. Doesn't that look fantastic? Oh, I got a little essence in here now. We're just going to, as we turned it, we're just, oh. All right, we got it slow cooking now. Hey, I think we need a dessert. All right. Blind bake a crust. What does that mean? Well, it doesn't mean that you put a blindfold on, walk around the kitchen, no. What it means is that we covered the crust. I use beans, they sell like marbles, all kinds of things. And we put it in the oven. 
See, the filling is going to take less time than the crust, which is why you buy blind bake the crust. The filling is really simple, okay? We're going to take Meyer lemon juice. That's, this is Meyer lemon. Oh, they're nice. They're juicy, tangy. Oh, my neighbor grows these. Fantastic. Now you know why he's my neighbor. <laughs> A couple of eggs. And then we've got the zest, sugar, buttermilk. Oh, I love this dessert. Okay. And then a little bit of flour. Hmm, too big. Now, you whisk this in nice and slow. Get it all incorporated, the eggs, et cetera, et cetera. See? Somebody moved my sauce. Mm-hmm. So... Perfect. Now, you get it all stirred in, those ingredients. Set your oven on about 325 degrees. Okay? You can see this is not like a thick filling. It's not like a pastry cream. We're going to bake this for about 25, 30 minutes. Meyer lemon tot. Does that sound good to you? All right. Sounding good to me, too. So, inside it goes... In the oven it goes. When we come back, the fish crescendo. Yeah. Stick around. You can take it. I can't take it anymore. We're cooking up a kicked up dinner party tonight. We've got the old Meyer lemon tot in the oven, 325, gonna take about 25, 30 minutes. But I just can't stand it anymore. This fish, it's time. We're pan frying it in a little skillet. We made some components throughout the evening. So here's for me how I see it. I see the tomatillo sauce kind of going in the bottom, kind of like this. You see? That's what I'm kind of seeing. All right? Then I'm seeing this nest of tortillas just kind of going like over here, sort of like that. Okay? I'm seeing this beautiful filet of fish. Just kind of going on top, like this. I'm seeing a little crab meat guacamole. Just kind of going like that. I'm seeing a little bit of this salsa just kind of around like that. I'm seeing a little bit of those fried yucca chips just kind of like that. I'm seeing a little essence just kind of going around with a little bam like that. There you have it. Can you feel the love? All right. Oh. When that tot cools down, take it out of the pan. Let it cool. You want to cut a little wedge like this. Before we go there, I've whipped a little cream. Most people whip their cream too much. Don't, don't do that. Just let it loose a little bit. Now, here's what I like to do. Take a little bit of lemon. We take the wedge of the Meyer lemon pie. 
We take some whipped cream that we had and we just kind of, right? Just kind of, matter of fact, we just kind of let, oh yeah, you know what I mean? We take just a little bit of mint like this and set it like that, like over there. Are you with me? And then we just go, bam, 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 bam. There you have it. Is everybody feeling good out there? All right. I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. I'm Emerald Lagasse. See you tomorrow, everybody.